My name is Jim Brogan, and I'm the Senior Solutions Architect, not the, but a Senior Solutions Architect at VMware. And I have a, a fairly broad background, did ASIC design, then software, then software models of hardware, uh, moved to the customer side, have worked in storage and networking, basically any time it became obvious my mastery of the previous technology was merely adequate. I would move on to, to a new, uh, new place in my career. Uh, now, if what we are going to uh, demonstrate here is a, a very simple system uh, with uh, two AI uh, researchers or data scientists or other machine learning lackeys who desperately wish that they had their own GPUs. Uh, but we can assume there's some evil financial overlord that doesn't want to buy them GPUs because they sit there idle most of the time. Uh, they also are very happy on their own system. They do not want to migrate their data, their stack, their application to other machines. They would very much like to be there with their own dedicated GPUs. The, uh, the IT folks would like to manage all of the GPUs in, in one place. They do not want 500 uh, of these users all with their own set of needs and, and, and diverging. Uh, it, it's very hard to, to take care of all of them. If we can have all of that in the data center, then we can make uh, everyone happy as long as our, uh, as, as long as our data scientists can have a virtual GPU over the network it will appear to them as if they have a local GPU. There is nothing they have to change in their application or in their, in their software stack. We are going to have two, uh, two workers run a TensorFlow benchmark. And when we run it, it will fail the first time because they don't actually have a GPU. And then we will use the Bitfusion software FlexDirect to give them a virtual <coughs> GPU and it will run. Oh, all right, we've got animation. Of... Now, if I click on play, is it uh, is the demo going to run? Yeah. All right. So this is this is vSphere. We will be using two of these VMs that do not have physical GPUs. There is another physical host and its VM that has four Tesla V100s. All right, and those are passed through to. Uh, to this third VM. We will bring up a command line interface for both of our, our, our workers. Here is the TensorFlow benchmark. Uh, one of them is going to request a single GPU. The other benchmark is requesting two. One of them will run a ResNet 50 model. The other will run an Inception 3. And as I promised, the software fails because they don't have GPUs. And this one will fail in a similar manner. So we'll create some white space. And we will prefix the exact same command that just failed with the flexdirect run command. Uh, run is going to do three things. It is going to allocate two GPUs that we are requesting. It will run the benchmark on those virtual GPUs. And when the benchmark completes, it will deallocate them. On the other side, we will allocate the single GPU. Some, what uh, we could have done is request half of a GPU or two-sevenths of a GPU, uh, but we have not done that. Here we can see on our servers that our server with four GPUs has allocated the two and the three, and our two clients have gotten their two and their one GPU. The other thing... We, we should point out is here we are giving the user the ability to request the number of GPUs that they want. It is uh, conceivable that we would want to give them a virtual environment that they can't play with. They are stuck with uh, whatever is assigned to them at some point uh, where they cannot do this from the command line, but their command line already has the appearance of owning these, these two GPUs. And so for the purposes of this demo, it's nice to have the ability to control it. As the, as the benchmarks uh, complete their run, uh, and when the dashboard presumes to update itself or refresh, uh, you will see that the, 
the GPUs are, are deallocated. And we'll give it another five seconds. Four, three, two, one, da da. Okay. Then uh, the GPUs are deallocated and they're available for somewhere else. Over the five minute window, you can see the histogram of what was allocated.